Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Where in the last episodes we did a whole lot of stuff. We discovered uh, a hidden room, the chart room underneath the school where there was a portrait of the professor who also had ancient magic just like us uh, and we need to come back with the book. Okay, that does nothing. Sharpens the axe. Uh, we need to come back with the book that Professor Fig has, and Professor Fig is out of town. So, in the meantime, uh, we need to do some other questing, and... Um, yeah, I think that we are a little bit behind on our main quests, since we are level 13 at the moment. And our main quests uh, are level 6 and level 8, although we are pretty caught up now. Um, I did notice one thing, test flight, so I purchase a broom at Spint Witches. After completing my bloom flight training in Madame Kogawa's flying class, Everett mentioned checking in with Albie Weeks at Spint Witches to get a broom. So since we are in Hogsmeade at the moment, let's do that first and see if we have enough money uh, so that we can buy ourselves a broom. New face. Spint Witches Sporting Needs. Run by the amiable Albi Weeks, this shop sells a manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Albi himself is working on a number of broom enchantments. Interesting. Fairy Cap. Hmm. All right, good sir. What do you have for sale? Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. Good, I presume good. you're in the market for a new broom? Probably. Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Hmm. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the you one's darker reputation. Mm. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. All right, let's have a look-see. Quite an array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Oh, we have enough money to buy a broom. They're all 600. All right, so let's see. Ember Dash Broom, the perfect broom for those with a fairy temperament. Hmm. We can preview that it. Item is of the highest quality. Looks nice. The Hogwarts House Broom, a broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts house pride. That item is of the highest quality. So, there doesn't seem to be any statistical difference between the brooms. I mean, it's not like one's faster and one's cheaper and the other one has better control. They're all the same. They're all the same price. So it's only looks that they differ in. It's a little bit disappointing. Uh, Moon Trimmer Broom, finely crafted from ash. This broom is built for stability. No, not purchase. That item is of the highest quality. Yeah, looks like it's only visual. Wind Wisp, a stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. 
and a U weaver broom, a comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven that design. Is of the highest quality. That looks like it could be a racing broom. So this one is definitely a racing broom. Let's go for the Ember Dash. I like how it looks with the red in the tail. This looks like it could be, you know, for Quidditch. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Sure. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds right. intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once Excellent. You time, be sure to let me know. So, Hawksmeade and certain other areas prohibit flying. Look for the no-fly icon. Okay. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. So we are in a no-fly zone. The moment, I think. Um, yeah, let's see, gear, broom, excellent. So you can upgrade your broom at spint wedges, sporting needs, excellent. Um, can we do anything about it right now? No. Okay, okay there is another exclamation mark. Oh, we did get a new hat, didn't we? Um... Uh, um, this one. The Fury Cap. It's uh, pretty less. No. It's six defense less than what we currently have. So let's not equip that. Right. So. um, Let's see. Where do we need to go? I keep opening and closing the menu. I'm sorry about that. We need to go to the world map. And then we need to go over here. So, closest fire we have is here. Alright, let's go have a quick look-see and I'll be back with you when we are there. Alright, here we are. 
on the pitch. Hey guys. Black hadn't cancelled it. We wouldn't be looking for the blasted thing in the Come first on. place. Where are you? <laughs> I th do you need help? Shut up. Wait. Accio. Uh, Revelio. My entire school year. I hope a puff skin goes up his nose and snaps his brain. It had poisoned the poor beast. What sort of headmaster doesn't allow sports? Deserves to be an Azkaban. That's a super. Oh, I think they got well, it. If Black was an Azkaban, I should pity the Dementors. The man has no soul to take. Ooh, a little bit of foreshadowing. <laughs> hey, hey there. there. Ravenclaw. Yeah, that's me. Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that's the rest of the school, but it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, bumbling baboons. now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Ooh. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all, built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So... Let's see what you've got, fifth year. All right, let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Made it! Whoa, we have turbo. Excellent. No, 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 no. No. Oh. Missed one. It's I still find it pretty strange that um up and down is a different stick than left and right. Missed that completely. Brilliant. No, I need to up, up. Oh, we don't have to redo a mess for it. Okay, okay. Oh, how did I miss that? Ah, just a second slow, okay.
Glad to see I'm still the reigning champion. Just one Ziggy? second. Want to try again? Ready when you are. Yeah. The mechanism for steering... Not great. Did it! Right, new best time. Yeah, it really weird. The controls. Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Ah, uh, fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. All right. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Right. Return to LB Weeks. Excellent. Um, yeah, I have no intention of doing that again. I think the controls are weird. You have to control I altitude with the Weeks right stick. How I fed. You have to steer with the left stick, but move the camera with the right stick again, and then accelerate with right trigger, and boost with left trigger. Yeah, it's could have been a whole lot easier. All right, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to return to Alby Weeks. Let's see, can we fast travel? So, Hawksmeat. Yeah, we can go pretty close. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Yes, I do. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. 
Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. Of course, they do nap in the afternoons, from what I hear. <laughs> and where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Good for you. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Excellent. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed. All right. Quest complete. Flight test. Very good. Very good indeed. And did we level up? Not just yet. That's too bad. All right. Um, do we have anything else to do while we are here in Hogsmeade? Doesn't look like it. There's a whole lot of shops. Um, that we can go to wizard wear hairdressing salon can we change our appearance that would be cool beast byproducts i think these are still closed follow the butterflies Ooh. i overheard clementine wilder say will it say talking to herself in the three broomsticks she mentioned, she mentioned something about a swarm of butterflies. Okay. Let's do this one. While we are here. Maybe get another side quest out of the way. The three broomsticks. Revelio. Something pinked. Okay, we can eat. What pinked? Something to our right. It's probably over there. Can we go upstairs? We can. Not much to see. Oh, there's another stair. A bag. Undefined face item. Okay. We really need to open... Um, what's it called? The room of requirement. More stairs. Oh, and we're outside again. Okay, cool. And of course, it's a level lock. Okay. Oh, uh, no, that was outside. We need to go down. All right, let's go talk to Clementine. Hello. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself, I'm Clementine Willetsy, charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but... I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? Follow the spiders. Yes, if you wouldn't mind. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? <laughs> Excellent. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, Goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. 
You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Excellent callback to the Harry Potter books. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. All right, let's go see where they lead while we are here. How far is it? 400 steps? Yeah, oh, that's doable. Uh, if nothing exciting happens, I will see you there. Oh, there's a flying book. Nice. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Huh? There they are. Ah, there they are. She wasn't making it up. Revelio. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsey might get an answer about these butterflies. Uh, where are you? I lost you. Guys? Ah, there you are. The music is very sad. Uh, it was too fast for me to read what it, what it said, but something about four or six rules replaced. But right, let's fast travel back to Hawksmead. Uh, Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Talk about you taking. Oh, here is the thing. I saw it. I saw it. The three broomsticks, currently run by Serona Ryan, Rion? I forgot. And allegedly, as old as Hogsmeade itself, the three broomsticks is the long standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or a fire whiskey. Hello, Miss Willardsey. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. All right. That's it. Quest complete. Follow the butterflies. Very good. Very good. So, next up on the agenda is returning to our common room, I think. So, let's take the map. Let's get to Hogwarts. And then we are in... Over here? No, that's not our tower. Ah, here it is. This one, right? No trophy room. One staircase. Ravenclaw common room. That's the one. We haven't explored a whole lot of the castle, actually. Oh, it's quiet. House chest. There's nothing we can place in there. Off on another adventure, are we? Spinny, spinny. Eat an apple. More spinny, spinny. All right. Uh, I think it's time for bed, so... Let's see, how does this work? This are These are the fifth year dorms. Uh, this is the boy side, I think. So we need to go back up and then back down on this side. 50 years. 
Yep, this is us. Oh, we have mail. I uh, don't think so. I think we read everything. Okay, we can't extend. We can't progress time in here. Is it just by waiting for the next main quest? Okay, that's cool. Then let's um explore the castle a little bit. Oh, there's somebody over there. Hello? Professor Hecate is an enigma. I think she used to work for the ministry. Wonder how she ended up. Ooh. How are you? Oh, there's people here now. Is it now the next what day? Because I went now? into my bedroom. Looks like it's the next day. Ooh, what's this? Faculty Tower. To cat a white one white with orange tail very nice orange eyes as well cool yeah. Bevelio. okay let's see what's up here little bit of exploring there's a ping oh is that the fat lady can i get in Revelia. fat lady portrait this portrait guards the gryffindor common room requiring a password from any who wish to enter. She and her friend Violet are known to wander among the other portraits, periodically helping themselves to vats of wine therein. <laughs> yeah, I can't open it. Alright, alright, I can't open it, but we did find the Gryffindor common room. Which is cool, which is in a hallway to nothing. Kind of obvious that there is something hidden here, isn't it? Staircase goes up. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Uh, anything else over here? No, that's where we came from. Anything down here? Ooh, it's this. Oh! Okay. Rebellion. The hell is this? Saber, Ash Brown. Whoa! What in the world? That's very bright. Okay. Cool little hidden room. <laughs> uh, Alright. What's that? Oh. 
It's a map of some sort. Oh, there's a chest. Get that first. 43 gold. Excellent. I have no idea what to do with this. I'll look it up or figure it out eventually. Who are you? Lachlan the Lanky. This statue depicts a wizard Lachlan the Lanky, a tall, slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself. For what precisely, no one knows. Hmm. Cool. Um, right, we are level 14. Did I miss talent point? I did. Okay, we have nothing in stealth yet. So, enemy's ability to detect you is reduced and allows you to sprint. Yeah, we don't use disillusionment real a whole lot. This one says, um, Adria's potion makes you invulnerable. The invisibility potion's undetectable effect lasts for longer. And for each Chinese chomping cabbage thrown, a, ch a second cabbage is generated. Okay. Um, this one, enemies near a target summoned by Accio are also pulled in. Yeah, I don't really know if that's of any use. We already maxed out this one. This is a good tree. Another new spell set, but we already have to. Holding down dodge allows you to vanish. Ancient magic throw... Catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. Yeah, that could be good. Right. So, uh, we did do absolutely nothing that I wanted to do today. I wanted to go to the Room of Requirement, but we got sidetracked with a broom and some flying and a little bit of exploring. But next time we are definitely going to unlock Room of Requirement. And this has been everything for today. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.